Hi everyone, this is Jesus Healthy Recipes and here are the ingredients we use to make a healthy mushroom spinach sauce which we use to garnish an alternative to fried yam. Mushrooms are a rich low calorie source of fiber, protein and antioxidants. You'll be excited to know that it helps to guard against health conditions like cancer, diabetes and heart diseases. So these are the ingredients we used in making the mushroom sauce the dry mushrooms, onion, the spices, and the spinach. So this particular yam was not exactly fried, it was pressure cooked with some two tablespoons of vegetable oil and some little water and cooked in the pressure pot for about 17 minutes. So it's in between fried and boiled yam. Many of us prefer fried yam to boiled yam because it's crispy and more enjoyable. But we all know that too much of deep fried foods isn't healthy for us. So today we tried something different. We experimented with a regular pressure pot and this is how we made the pressure fried yam. So we arranged some of the unfried yam into the down part of the pressure pot. Then added two spoons of vegetable oil. And one cooking spoon of water. Then we covered the pressure pot, fixed the knob and allowed it to cook for 17 minutes under very low heat so 17 minutes later our steam fried yam is ready i can guarantee you it tasted great really nice you all need to attempt this especially those who have been warned to desist from eating fried foods and all you could make this as a makeshift fries for yourself and you would really love it <laughs> so it's time to make our mushroom sauce we use very little oil about two tablespoons of vegetable oil we fried our freshly diced onions then as it was frying we cut the spinach we sliced it a little big so it doesn't disappear in the pot then here we added the spices to the onion the pepper, the black pepper, the fenugreek, and the crayfish, and give it some stir. We stirred it for a while. Okay. Then we added the little turkey broth. Give it some more stir. Then here we added our ginger, garlic. onion powder and some little salt stirred it some more <laughs> then finally we are ready to add our mushroom right we added the mushroom then stirred it a little more and then here we have to add some little water if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and give us a like. So that's the water. The mushroom has to cook, so that's the reason we added some water. And then stirred it a lot more. <laughs> it's really a stir fried mushroom then added some little tomato paste a leftover actually from a jollof rice we made recently added the tomato onion sauce stir together with the mushroom and then finally it was time to add our spinach we didn't allow this cook for too long so we don't lose the value the nutritional value of our spinach so we see it for about 
one to two minutes okay and then eventually our sauce was ready <laughs> Wow, doesn't this look amazing? We served into the plate along with just a piece of turkey to garnish it. You may choose not to add any meat because spinach could serve as meat. So here is the final outcome of the rice with mushroom and spinach sauce and garnished with a turkey. We are going to try it out and see. Hmm, really tasty. Hmm. So those that may not be able to eat fried food because of health conditions could make their yam like this. At least it could satisfy the craving for fried things without exactly eating the fried yam. And it could also replace your air fryer. <laughs> so this yam. It's a very healthy one and then the mushroom the mushroom tastes like meat it's really very nice so if you try this i would like to hear your comment and a picture of your own version when you try this thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and like and share with friends i'll be so delighted bye bye see you in the next video